Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Eman Collects, and honestly, guys, I just want to share a story with you guys that happened to me on a routine, routine day. Um, as a matter of fact, it was mail day. Um, I was uh, in the middle of, I was at the post office dropping off some some cool trades that I did with uh, members of the community, and lo and behold, while I was there, you know, uh, dropping off you know, the mail and getting everything, you know, getting, getting everything ready, uh, to send for the trade. Um, I was asked, Hey, what's, what's inside your mail? Like, what do you, cause you know, I go there pretty often. Like, Hey, what do you, what do you, what do you put in your mail? And I was like, Oh, I got Pokemon cards in there, Pokemon cards. And they're like, so, uh, you sell Pokemon cards? I'm like, no, 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 I don't sell Pokemon cards. I do live streams and I do giveaways and, and all that stuff. You know, right now I'm just, these are just trades with some, uh, some of my friends from the community. And so then, you know, we did our, you know, you know, pay for the shipping and all that kind of stuff, right? And uh, so before I left, uh, the worker asked me, "Hey, are you? Would you be interested in buying some cards?" And I was like, "Well, what do you have?" Because you know, I wasn't expecting, you know, anything at the post office. I'm just at the post office dropping off mail for, uh, you know, just at, you know, dropping off mail. Um, but he's like, oh, look, I have I, I have some Pokemon cards right here if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, <laughs> right here. So he gave me his, uh, he brought me his binder. He had it with him, and he said, hey, I got these cards right here. Are you interested? And uh, so I kind of looked through them real quick, and, you know, there's stuff in here I'm not really too familiar with. And so I asked him, hey, what's, what's the price? And he threw me a price, and... I accepted and I was like I'll take it because um, I could I could always you know use them for giveaways but I just wanted to show you guys what's in the binder and uh, let me know I'll let you guys know how much I paid for the binder at the end of the video and you guys let me know if I overpaid if I underpaid or if it's just right uh, let me know because I would like to know I, I don't know much about vintage because there's some vintage stuff in here so yeah let me know guys what you guys think all right, guys, so here is the binder. Uh, pretty cool. Um, it says George, but I don't know if that's the guy's name or the kid who this binder used to belong to. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty nifty uh, vintage binder, you know, with a cool, cool Charmander right there. So, uh, guys, I'm going to just kind of go through it. And, and I didn't mess with the cards. I just left them like that. But I went through it because I wanted to see <laughs> what was in there. So right here we have a uh, Metapod from uh, base. We have a Nidoran from from base. Um, we have a Nidorina. We have Paris, uh, Starmie. We got Poliwhirl. And as you, you guys could see, like all the wrinkles that are in this plastic, because it's warped. Because this is these have probably been in here forever. I don't know how long they've been in, in here for, but yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, these are from um, off from base uh, like this one says uh, I don't know if you can see that but it says 1995 96 98 uh, Nintendo creatures game freak 1999 wizards so you know it's a wizard wizards of the coast so that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool it's pretty awesome and here's the second page we have much we have a chop we have diglet weeping bell we have bell sprout then on that uh, and Krabby, and as I'm looking at these right now, this one has that uh, from uh, Jungle. I think that's Jungle. I think Jungle, Jungle, Jungle. And I think this one is Fossil. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me just take out. Yeah, like some of the, the card conditions aren't the best. Right, like you can see some wear and tear on them, but still pretty cool vintage, uh, vintage card. Put it back in there, and uh, let's see the second page. As you can see, we have the Weedle, we got Tangela, Oddish, and then we got some of this good stuff. We have uh, Tops uh, Growlithe. We have another tops, I think, uh, Ninetales. We have this Pocket Monsters uh, 
slow poke. This one is a, a bending sticker. And this one right here, Pocket Monsters, this one is also a bending sticker for, uh, I, for I think it might be like like one of those, uh, like if I take this one out and I flip around the other side. Oh, it doesn't have, oh, I thought it didn't have like the year or something, but it, it, it doesn't have the year. But nonetheless, I've never seen this one before. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's check, let's check out this, this Growlithe right here. This Growlithe looks pretty, pretty good condition to be honest wow that looks pretty pretty good look at the back wow guys that's actually pretty 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 good condition there might be a little bit of whitening on the bottom but not not so much whitening but yeah dude check out that growlith shout out to my my guys uh we got eml and uh, and the better half m <laughs> to them with their mascot Love you guys. And then we have Nine Tails right here. That nine, this Nine Tails, uh, to be honest, isn't in the best shape. You can see all the uh, all the wrinkles that it has here. Like it looks like it was probably like water damaged. You can see it from right here too. You can see all the the wrinkles that are back here. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty bad. Pretty rough shape, but. Yeah, I'll let you guys know the price, and you guys let me know if, if I paid okay or, or, or not enough or too much. And then on this other page, we have another vending series. Not, I'm not vending series, but uh, I know it's from the vending machines. Like, it's, it's a, uh, from the sticker. So we have a Kakuna. We have Zubat right there. We have Zapdos as well. And then we have this cool uh, Mewtwo right here and this Mewtwo um, I'm not sure what it's worth because you can see how kind of like the the damage that it has right it's kind of like water damage as well um, so I mean I don't know guys but like that artwork is freaking awesome that that's freaking cool just so classic 1999 so I don't know if this is from 1999 or just saying 1999 but uh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, there's you know you can see the wear right there, and uh, so yeah, guys, that's that's pretty that's pretty bad that wear. And then this one right here, the Zapdos. Uh, it's also a sticker, but it, it as you can see, it had like a little sleeve on it. So this one had a sleeve with it, so it actually kept this one in pretty pretty good shape. You can see the Charmander in the back. Uh, sharing his food with the rest of the Pokemon, so that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So let let me know. Should I just leave them in here, or uh, take them out of here, or put them in other sleeves, or, or you know, doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, let's see. Let's keep going through this binder. Let's see what else we have. And then we have some more tops. We have Beedrill. We have Caterpie. We have from the Pokemon. Pokemon movie. We have TV one Ash Ketchum, and then we have this one. I guess this. It, guessing it's a puzzle, because this Charmeleon's kind of cut off, so it probably goes to something, or maybe that's the back of the next card. Maybe because and right here we have uh, we have uh, TV's eight uh, Gary Oak, and this Ash Ketchum. So let's check this one out. That's pretty cool. This one's actually they're in pretty good shape to be honest. I don't know if you guys are collectors of these cards, but uh, like the corners are still pretty sharp. They're not. They're not really. They're not really bent. I wish I had a better, a better uh, camera so I could show you guys. But man, I'm I'm so excited to get these. Um, just totally out of the blue. Was not expecting this at all. Like I said, I was just at the post office to. Put throw, put some mail in there for uh, some trades that I'm that I'm doing, and get some uh, some stamps for some uh, international uh, shipping that I got to do. And here we go, guys. With the, another page, we have a uh, Machoke bending series, bending series, or I mean tops. I keep saying bending series for, for some reason. And then we got the Psyduck, um, and then yeah, the Psyduck. Oh, the, oh, then we have this Raichu. 
as well. It's the ones that you, I don't know what these are. I think it's from a, a page of these Pokemon cards. And, uh, so yeah, there must, there must be a set of it out there somewhere. So I don't know if there's a set of it in here. So, uh, and it's pretty cool, uh, Blastoise. Oh, this one's also in the sleeve. Oh, cool. There you go. This Blastoise is also in, in the sleeve, the sticker. But it's kind of beat up though. It's kind of kind of bent. Kind of some, some wear on this bottom part. Pretty cool. Um, classic OG <laughs> Blastoise. Reminds me of uh, Pokemon Go. When Pokemon Go first came out and everyone was out there playing Pokemon Go trying to catch a Blastoise. On, on uh, Before they had community days, you know, you had to go to like a spot when there was like like spawns going on. You had to go and, and be lucky and, and, and catch it. And so I don't know if you guys ever played back when it first came out, but it was so much fun, right? You have your phone. You have, you have like somebody with you. You have your, your phone charger because you couldn't go without a phone charger. And you just kind of run out there and, and somebody would scream, Blastoise! And people would just run over there. And everyone was over there trying to like do this, trying to catch the Blastoise. You know that was that was incredible. So much fun doing that, and that's what I think about right now when I when I see this this Blastoise. Um, let's see what else we got. We have pretty cool back of this artwork on these cards. Here we go. We have this Executor uh, Magic Carp. I guess Poke Trivia cards. Is that what it's called? Poke Trivia. And look at that. We got a Charizard. We got a Charizard, so we got we technically have a binder with a Charizard. <laughs> so we got a Charizard up in here. So that's pretty cool. Scyther as well. Uh, what else do we have? Are these one cards or two cards? Oh, it's one card. All right, there we go. So Mewtwo Strikes Back. So that's the the Pokemon Pokemon movie. Very cool. The Kabuto. We see the Jinx. And then here we go. We got a we got a vintage hollow up in this up in this binder as well. This hypno uh, by, uh, hollow from fossil. Cause I see that that uh, that print right there. Yeah, it's not in like I said. Like these cards aren't in the best shape. Some cards are are in better shape than others. But dude, these these are just vintage. Somebody bought these packs somebody pulled them somebody got super so excited and that joy is being transferred over this way because now i get to um, have these cards and and add them to my uh to my collection we have a uh here we go we have a lick tongue we have a, <laughs> a meow that is kind of tore up right here on, on the corner see we have a kabuto from fossil this one looks like it's in the right shape this one looks pretty good, actually. The the edge it doesn't really have all that that edge wear, like some of the other ones have. It has a little bit of whitening right here in the bottom, you know. But that's that's all right. So yeah, this, that one's probably one of the <laughs> the better shaped ones that are in here. Uh, let me see if I can put it back in there. There we go. All right, we got my chop from base sets, and we have a uh, haunter from. Jungle two, jungle two. I don't know my I don't, I don't know my base sets very much because I'm more of a modern set collector. Is really when I started collect when I came back to collecting was during the modern era. When I when I first started collecting, I was uh, I was in high school, and for me, uh, when these cards came out, I was in high school. I was uh, when like '99, right? So I graduated 2001. So uh, you know. Back then, for me, and obviously, it wasn't vintage. It was just Pokemon cards, right? And here we go. We got a Persian. We have Machoke. Also, it was a Persian is Jungle. Base set Machoke. We got Abra. Shout out to my kid. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> he's not watching. He's too young for this. <laughs> we got Poliwhirl. We got Cloyster here with another fossil clo uh, Cloyster as well. So that's, that's two poly worlds that we have. And then execute from uh, fossil, I'm sorry, fossil jungle. Uh, we have Mankey from jungle, Psyduck, oops, Psyduck from, uh, from fossil, right? And then we have Jigglypuff right here. 
So we got Jigglypuff from um, also Jungle. Look at that cool Eevee from from Jungle as well. One of the iconic uh, uh, Pokemon. There you go. We have Rhydon from Jungle as well. And we have Cubone from Jungle as well. All iconic Pokemon right here. In the midst of uh, 151 being that's released right now. We got Bulbasaur from uh, Base Set. Pretty cool Bulbasaur from Base Set. Can I... Oh, it's back here. So that Bulbasaur, pretty clean. That Eevee is also pretty clean. Not like there's still a little bit of, of edge wear, but uh, you know, I don't take it to heart because they're, they're vintage. You know, these these cards were probably played with. You know, so you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and let's see, what do we have here? We have uh, Executor. We got. In, uh, imposter trainer professor oak look at that cool mewtwo right there that's a cool wicked mewtwo that is one pretty cool mewtwo let's take a closer look at that at that mewtwo wow that is that's pretty cool also oh, promo is this the one that they give away during uh, uh during the movie Yeah, you can tell the promo because look how thick it is on this side compared to that side. <laughs> oh, man. That's still pretty cool, though. That's pretty iconic. And then on, on this side, yes, on this side. I'm going to cover this one, and I'll do a reveal. So we have a Dark Radicate. We have a Hollow Bioplume. And then we got this, we got this Scyther right here as well. And let me just do a quick, quick little reveal. Three, two, one. Ha. Yeah. We got one of the big three hollow in this binder that just fell on my lap out of the blue was like I said, was not expecting this whatsoever. I feel like I got rewarded for something. And uh, I am very lucky. And let me let me show you guys this uh, Venusaur from a uh, uh, base set Venusaur. Very cool base set Venusaur. It's, you know, there's some wear and tear on this on this card as well. You can see all the whitening that it has on on the on the edges, but I didn't have one. Now I do. So that's that's pretty cool. And you know, you know, also want to show you guys this bio plume. It's also a hollow. Right here. So what's that? Three hollows in here. Yeah, and that was it. So we got the Venusaur hollow, the bio plume hollow. Right, the wire plume, and which one? Was it the hypno? Yeah, and the hypno, and the hypno hollow. I think that was, I think that was it for the hollows, with you know not including the, uh, the tops. But yeah, guys. So, uh, one of the things I also want to do is put some of these cards, in a, uh, into my my hit box that I have for my live streams. So if you guys don't already know. Uh, I do live streams um, and I do live stream giveaways when I do my live streams and so what we do is we do pack battles uh, and within those pack battles uh, what I do is I, I don't give away the, the cards that I have here that we open up like I have cards in a, in a, in a separate um, in a separate hitbox and let me show you guys real quick what I mean so right here this is what I have I have a hitbox and we play games um, you know, pack battles and different different games that we do, and you know, whoever wins will get a, a pull from this hitbox. And then the shipping is always on me. I do plain white envelopes. We follow we follow the YouTube community guidelines. We go uh, if you're under 18, you'll always have to have your parents' permission uh, to enter. And to get a hold of me, please, they have to get a hold of me if you're under 18. 
Um, but everyone is welcome to to come to the streams. Um, but yeah, so anyways, with that being said, let me know if you guys would want to see some of these cards uh, into the hitbox. And let me know some of the cards that from this binder that you want to see into this hitbox. Because I want to pay it forward to you guys for being so awesome and um, just watching, you know, content and, and hanging out with me. Because I love hanging out with you guys on stream and everything. So, um, it really makes my day a lot better. So, um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think about this. Oh, and before I go, I got to tell you how much, how much this was. So this was um, 30, 30 for, for this, for this collection. So let me know if, um, if I overpaid, cause I know some of the conditions are pretty bad. So I don't know what the, the values are because of, you know, cause of uh, the conditions or if, you know, if I broke even, but either way, the whole point of, um, buying this was cause it was just like a, an awesome opportunity that came out of nowhere and two. Is I want to pay for it to you guys and put some of these in here with, for for you guys to to win. So just let me know what you guys would want to see in the hitbox in the comments and um, who knows it might be you that wins that card that you want to see in the hitbox. But in order to win a box, I mean hitbox pool, you have to be on my live streams and get picked and win the pack battle. So it's not so easy and you gotta be a subscriber. So like, subscribe. And hey, 